Last week was marked by a fantastic rebound of the index, with many companies increasing their market cap by hundreds of billions of dollars. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 46% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,554.25, up 3.9% from last week and adding 1.9% trillion dollars of market cap. The B ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 29.02, up 1.16 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Nvidia is up an outstanding 487.8 billion, or 18.9%, as investors scooped up the stock following last week's Max 7 sell-off, and in anticipation of earnings on August 28. Apple is up 149.2 billion, or 4.5%, as the company announced the opening of its NFC features to develop. Amazon is up 106.2 billion or 6.1%, bouncing back from last week's tech sell-off as well. Microsoft is up 92.5 billion or 3.1% on no specific news. Broadcom is up 81.3 billion or 11.8%, also recovering from the Max 7 sell-off. Moving on to your losers, Alphabet is down 8.7 billion or 0.4% on concerns that the company might be broken up by regulators. Procter and Gamble is down 6. 6.1 billion or 1.5 percent on no specific news. Chipotle is down 4.2 billion or 5.6 percent as the company's CEO was surprisingly hired by struggling Starbucks last week. Exxon is down 3.1 billion or 0.6 percent on no specific news. Johnson & Johnson is down 3 billion or 0.8 percent on no specific news as well. Note that the company is now near a settlement of its baby powder lawsuits. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. Q2 2024 earnings season is coming to a close for the 503 S&P constituents. Last week, 9 members released results and 46 companies are left to report earnings. 13 S&P 500 members will announce earnings during the week ending August 3, 2024. And the most interesting will be Lowe's and Medtronic on August 20th, TJX and Analog Devices on August 21st, and Intuit on August 22nd. Which company do you think we'll tap the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for our weekly updates. To find out why Amazon and Nvidia were down last week, you should watch this video next.